Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. Welcome if you're new here. Today we're going to be doing a full face of Wet n Wild. Some are new products, some are not new products, but I did go through Amazon, um, Walgreens, and also the Dollar General. So I have a big bag full of Wet n Wild products. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of my next video. This might be a lengthy one. Let's go ahead and get started. Also, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is still not back, guys. Also, I picked up their brushes. I have a flat top, no, sorry, a small stipple brush. I have their flat top foundation brush, or well, I guess you can use it for powder too. Um, also have the contouring brush. These, these brushes are one to two dollars. Large eyeshadow brush and a crease brush. That's all I need. I did not find a, um, a sponge by them this time anyway, so I do have my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. So let me go ahead and start with the priming water. This is the Cucumber 3-in-1 Priming Water Prep, Set, and Refresh. So new to me, cruelty-free. So let's go ahead and spray it. Oh, the mist is nice. Oh, that would be so good for in the morning when you first start an upgrade. The cucumber spray on my face. I'm going to read you the claims from Ulta. It says Wet n Wild Ultralight Photo Focus um, Spray Primers. Hydrate smooth and brighten your skin for dewy, healthy look. It's an everyday essential to create smooth, flawless canvas for application. So it says it's infused with vitamins and minerals. Gives an, under an instant boost of hydration as it preps skin for makeup. Uh, delivers a soft sheen to refresh and set makeup in place. Ideal for all skin types, cruelty free, paraben, and vegan. Okay, so I already did that. All right, so let's go ahead and look up. Hmm. It feels like it's dried down. I did wash, moisturize, I mean, wash, tone, and moisturize. So I have all that on also. So hopefully all of these products play well and don't ball up. They don't ball up because I don't like when it does that. Okay, so the primer serum. Mm -hmm. Nice packaging. It is glass. It says hydrating. So before I do put it on, I do want to re read the claims. Okay, here we are. $7.99 at Ulta. The cucumber spray was $4.99 at Dollar General. So it says the Wet n Wild Primer Prime Focus Primer Serum is a lightweight ultra hydrating water-based serum that preps, primes, and refined skin for longer lasting makeup application. Formulated with skin nourishing ingredients including ro rose water, chamomile lead extract, green tea extracts that moisturize and smooth the skin. The silky creamy texture creates the perfect canvas for a smooth even complexion so that foundation glides on effortlessly, le <laughs> effortlessly for a luminous flawless finish. The key benefits blurs and softens imperfections Leave skin feeling soft and hydrated without a greasy residue. Refine skin for flawless and longer lasting makeup application. Lightweight and ultra hydrating. Okay, here we go. I'm hoping that it doesn't ball up. I'm gonna zoom you guys in closer. You know, up close and personal. You know, we're kind of zoomed in already, but we're a little bit closer. I did put some Carmex on my lips before. Whenever I do uh, do my skincare routine, I do apply some kind of lip balm. All right, it comes with a dropper. So I don't know whether I should just drop it on my face. I don't know how many drops. We'll just fill the dropper up. <laughs> okay, we have about that much. I'm gonna try to be like Instagram savvy. No, it's not working out already. Okay. Okay. Oh, it feels like a water, water-like texture. A little bit thicker than water, but it's very cooling. Oh, it feels good. So it does say to let it um, dry down for a few minutes. I think it says a minute or two. But it, it goes in quickly, so it's the skin is soaking it up. My skin is very dry, so it does tend to soak up product quickly. So hopefully that does help with the hydration. I'm going to put some down on my neck. 
you know, we do have what I am worried about because whenever I try out, even though I have dry skin, I do have large pores. So whenever I try to Lumi foundation, it does kind of emphasize pores, but I'm not going to stray away from any of the new things. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Okay, the claims for the foundation. Now I did use this on um, special occasion makeup all drugstore makeup video. I did use the, not this one, I used the mattifying one, which is really not really matte. It's kind of like a soft matte, maybe a natural finish. Um, this one is supposed to be for, supposed to be for dry skin, but I have seen some people reviewing it for oily skin and they liked it. So, okay, the details on this foundation, it says the newest innovation to the cult favorite Wet n Wild Photo Focus franchise, Dewy Foundation, a weightless super nourishing foundation that delivers natural all day wear. So we're going to see that. We're going to see if it does live up to that claim. Silky and creamy coverage is easily buildable from medium to full. It's ideal for normal to dry skin types. Okay, this moisturizing formula blends seamlessly, blurs imperfections, and helps minim minimize the appearance of pores. Okay, that's what I was worried about, guys. For a perfectly smooth and dewy finish, it is cruelty-free, gluten-free, talc-free, and it's vegan also. So I have you guys zoomed in as much as I can. So it does have the same packaging as the other Photo Focus Foundation. It also has, it is twist, so don't try to pull it. It also has the spatula in. Okay. I am going to do one half with, okay, this is... This is what it's looking like. And I am in the shade Golden Beige in the other formulation. So I got Golden Beige, beige for this formulation. I did order this off of Amazon. It was $6.49, I believe. So on Ulta's website is also $6.49. Primer Serum was $7.99 on Amazon. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and get in. So I'm just going, I'm not going to put it on the back of my hand. I am going to use the spatula. So I'm going to do one side with the brush first. I don't want to disturb the primer underneath. Yes, look at that dewy glow. Wow. And right off the bat, guys, it is medium coverage. The application is beautiful. Here we go. One side with the foundation. I am liking this so far, guys. One side with that. So I still I already have kind of a glowy from that serum. I already have a glow, glow, glowiness on my skin, luminosity. And then so the foundation is just working great with those two products. All right, there's no balling up either with the serum or the spray or any of my skincare. So let's go ahead and try. We're going to use the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge on the other side. Same thing, I'm going to use from the spatula. Sponge. Oh, goodness. This is a beautiful foundation so far, guys. Let's see. I would say both. I put about the same amount on both sides. I would say either use the sponge or use the brush because I put the same amount on both sides and it looks about the same amount of coverage. So look at that luminosity, guys. So if you have oily skin, you might want to set it. Um, I don't have any wet and wild powders. Powders and I do not get along. So I'm not going to put any powder. So let's see how it sets. Okay, next in line, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I did get this from Walgreens. Um, I have tried it before. I don't know. My under eyes are so finicky as far as a lot of uh, concealers. Of course, I really, I mean, maybe just to brighten, but that foundation covered up a lot. But anyway, this is a shade light beige. And with concealers, my under eyes are very finicky. So they only like certain, 
they only get along with certain concealers. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and try this out. Let me read the claims. It's, Our Photo Focus Concealer hides blemishes, scars, or last night's misdeeds to reveal near-perfect skin. Photo Focus Concealer instantly brightens, so you are always selfie ready. So no worries, stay wild, and we will always have your back with the lightweight, buildable coverage that never tells. Benefits cruelty-free. Okay, so like I said, I'm in the shade light, medium beige. Um, and also, like I said, my under eyes are very finicky, so let's wish for the best. It has your little standard doe foot. Hopefully it just brightens a little bit. I'm not going to put a whole lot because the foundation covered a lot. And you know that foundation I only did one application. I didn't try to build it. So if you're looking for full coverage, I believe this will get you there. Okay. I'm not going to go on the lids. I'm going to go down the nose. It doesn't give you much in the doe foot, so you have to kind of re-dip in if you want to use a little bit more. Which is not bad because some people don't like to put a whole lot of concealer on. Okay, so I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to blend it in. Okay, it does brighten. It is lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. Guys, my dog is either snoring or making so much noise in every single video. Also, the car is passing by. I do apologize. My room is right off in the front of the house by the street. So, we hear the car is passing, trucks passing. So, it looks like it's all set. It feels a little bit tacky still. But we're gonna give it we're gonna give it time to dry down. So I am gonna go into eyes. Um, this is the VI purple. It says new on it, but I'm not quite so sure. But I have never used this one before. I have used Wet n Wild the, these little palettes. I have used them before, so I did like them. It, in fact, it was maybe one of the first ones that I had when I first started getting into makeup, which was later on in life. <laughs> Um, this was one of the first palettes that I did use. So, let's see. What kind? Let me open it up. I got this one also from Walgreens. Let's look at, I want to say it was $6. So, this is also from their Color Con. Color Con. Alright, so, try to do kind of an easy look. Just the transition, although they are kind of nighttime shadows but the shimmers are really pretty and the transition shades are really pretty all right so I am going to start my transition with this color here it doesn't give you the shades names but I'm going to use that one and let me go in with my crease brush the brushes I got from Walgreens also and like I said they were one to two dollars I think if you go to the dollar store, they have wet and wild brushes for a dollar. So, very inexpensive and they do work well. I have tried them before. Alright, be careful because these pans do, the last one I had, it was very pigmented. So, I'm just going to go into the crease with that transition shade. Am I out of frame? No, but I need it closer. Okay. Yeah, see they're very pigmented. Always keep a clean brush. We may end up with a nighttime look during the day. Am <laughs> I so okay? You keep a clean blending brush nearby. Okay, next shade I'm going to go in and into, no, I don't know, <laughs> they're so pretty, I think I might just do a shimmer um, on the lid and then maybe 
Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go in with this gold shimmer. I'm playing it safe because I do want a daytime kind of look. This goldish shimmer. I'm just going to use my finger to apply. Ooh, okay. That's a pretty shade. Very, very gold. I don't want to give go too high up, but... I don't find, and maybe others do, I don't find this has a lot of fallout. And that's why I did do my face makeup first. Wow, that is a very beautiful shade. Okay, and on the outer, the outer crease, I am going to build up the transition shade that we used for the crease. I'm going to build that up in the outer corner. Like I said, it's not really a first impression or a wear test. I know these work well. So, same brush. I'm using the same brush. Just kind of build that corner to give a little more dimension on the outer V. See, I have no fallout on my face. Once you get most of the color settled there, you can kind of drag it back into the crease. And okay. All right. Now I'm going to use the eyeliner that I'm not sure if it's new or not. It does look similar to the one I had before, but it's in a packaging. So it might be repackaged or reformulated. And it is waterproof. I don't believe the one I had before was waterproof. So... Hydro Fudge Waterproof, so it should not fudge. It says long-lasting waterproof formula, won't skip, smudge, or streak, soft felt tip brush for precision control and mistake-proof application. Okay, so we shall see. And I do like the other one, too. I mean, I used that one. I had repurchased it many times because they're very cheap. I want to say they're less than $5. I got this one at the dollar store as well. I'm telling you guys, well, the dollar store does not mess around with their packaging, their safety seals, and everything else. Okay. Yeah, this looks different. It looks like it has more in it, too. Okay, here we go. And let's see the felt tip. That was uh, hard to get open. Okay, it's not as soft as the one that I had before, either. It's a little more stiff. So I'm not going to do a wing, but I am going to come up a little bit. I'm not going to do a wing, but I am going to come up to the edge of my lash line. Like that. Okay, like I said in my previous videos, I don't have a lot of lid, lid space. That was very easy. Very, very easy. I don't know if it dries matte. We're going to see because I'm going to swipe it on the back of my hand. And we're going to see if it dries matte or if it just kind of leaves it wet looking. It looks like it's drying matte already. All right, and then into the mascara. Where are you? I have wet and wild products all over my desk. Lash Renegade Multidimensional Mascara. Caution, lashes that break the rules. Maximizes every lash dimension. So it says, oh, it's got a built-in fiber formula, volume and length. So it is, like I said, it's very intense. On the picture, on the front of the packaging, it has a very crazy looking line. So it's got like a little ball at the top. I got the shade Brazen Black. So let's go ahead in. I mean, I'm just going to use it like a regular wand and see if it's just there to pick up the lashes that or Okay, it's a... Okay, I see what it... It's to separate them. I didn't know if it was there to pick up the little lashes up front where you can't really get sometimes. 
these here. Okay, not my favorite. It doesn't separate really well. Okay, but if you use not the ballpoint, but if you use the other spot, it separates them there. It does lengthen them for sure. Okay, so here's one eye with, with one eye without any makeup, but anyway. And I it did bleed down here. So always keep a Q-tip handy to clean that up. Wait till it's dry. And we're cleaned right up. Okay, I do have a little bit here. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Okay. I am going to do the lower lash line with that transition color. Where is my face brush? Okay. So I'm going to take the same color that we used for transition for the bottom, bottom lower lash line. Just to connect it. Okay, and I'm going to try the mascara on the lower lash line. I am scared because I already make a made a mess at the top and I always make a mess at the bottom lash. So I'm going to take that little ball, try to get most of the product off. It is a very wet formula. Maybe because it's wet and wild. I don't know. Okay, but it's not too bad for the bottom lashes. In fact, I like it better on the lower lashes than I do on the top. Because it's separating and lengthening. See that? I like this a lot for the bottom lash, lower lash line. So. It almost looks like doll eyes. Okay. I have never had that effect on my lashes before with any mascara. Okay. Okay, going in with the double ended contour stick now that our eyes are done. I did have some trouble on this side on this lash. I had to clean it up a little bit. It was a little bit messy. It is a wet formulation, so I don't know how I feel about it yet. But let's see. Um, the contour and highlight stick. It says this amazing highlighting and contouring stick is dual ended for precise application to easily enhance your features. Contour shade defines and chisels, highlighter illuminates your best features. Paraben free, gluten free. So it's similar to the Believe Beauty one. I want to say this one was, was $5. I did get it from Walgreens. So you do get a lot of product. I think you might get more than the Believe Beauty stick. So it does look like the shade, the same color. I got light medium. It does look like the same kind of shade. So I'm going to do like I do. Okay, it might be a little bit lighter. All right. The foundation is drying down. It's still luminous, but it's not wet. And it isn't enhancing the pores, which I was kind of afraid of. It's not enhancing my pores. All right, going in with, make sure you, before you put the top on that you close, you, twist the top you twist it back down so you don't smoosh it like I just did all right I'm gonna go in with the stippling brush by wet and wild this one and I'm going to go ahead and stipple it don't want to disturb the foundation all right there's my other dog buddy go lay down go back into the hairline okay this is a different shade it almost has like a pink tone or mauve -y tone to it. It doesn't really have, it's a very cool tone. Please excuse my dog, I'm sorry. 
every video. I'm home by myself. There's nobody else here but the animals and me. So, it's not a bad shade or to, it's not a bad shade. It just, I get used to products and when I try new ones, it's like, I'm not sure because it's not the same. Doesn't mean it's bad shade. So, I did remember my nose this time. This is definitely lighter than my other contour stick. So I am going to go down the nose. It's a little bit wider too. Cupid's bow a little bit here. Just a little bit here because I do want to... I may not use the highlighter because I do. I might just stick with all cream products because I did use those in the other video and I know how they perform, so I want to test out these by themselves. Okay, I'm just going to take my finger and press it in. It is a subtle highlight, which I do like. We already have the luminosity from the foundation, so we don't really need that much. Either the eyeliner or the mascara is bleeding onto my lids. So when that happens, you just take your crease brush and wipe it away. If it's the eyeliner or if it's the mascara, not sure. A lot of times eyeliners would do that on me before they dry, but it should be dry by now. Okay, not bad. Okay, and next we have the blush. Not too for too much more to do. Where did you go? up we have the pinch me pink blush like I said I think these are reformulated from their color icon line of course it says new on there but most of their products stay new I believe their their foundation from the, the mattifying one I, that's been out for three years still says new on it but the blush, I believe, I got this from Walgreens, I believe it was $2.99. All affordable prices. I am going to go in with the angled brush. Contour brush, which I should have used for contour, but I like to use the stippling one where you kind of press it instead of swipe so I don't disturb the foundation. This is the only powder product besides the eye shadows that we are using on our face. So you can always, if you feel like you don't have enough contour on, you can always add more. If you feel like you have too little, like I said, take your foundation, I mean too much, take your foundation brush and kind of press over the top of it. All right, so this is a pretty shade, Pinch Me Pink. I'm just gonna take my contour brush Oh, this one has a luminosity to it too and you can build it up it doesn't come out like with a lot of product so you can kind of build it that is a pretty shade blush I always take it over the nose mm. okay next up and second to last we have there Well, no, not seconds. Uh, lips. We have lips and then brows, and then we hit, we're finished. This is going to be kind of a lengthy video because I want to try out all these new products, and it is going to be a wear test. So we'll be checking in maybe two, two times. All right. This is the gel lip liner crayon. 
See the claim, seamless, flawless application, no tugging or no dragging. Delivers never ending color. Okay, so it says it should stay. It doesn't say how long the wear is, but I have bare to commit, so it's a neutral shade. Let's see. Like a nude shade, pinky. Very creamy. It does not tug. That's a good claim. I think it's some mascara, guys, because it's starting to bleed down this way. Yeah. I should never do. I should have just left it. Okay, so our lip stain. This is definitely new. So there's our lip liner. Um, I did get a kind of a bold shade, but it does say it's a gloss. So it says Mega Last Stain Glass. Lip gloss stain. So it doesn't have any claims, it just says it stains. It's a gloss. It is pretty. Alright. Got this from Walgreens also. Alright, let's see. Whoa, it is pink. Oh my gosh. I did not realize how pink it is. Hopefully it is glossy so it doesn't stain my lips. Here we go. It's not matching the Alright, welcome back to the 80s guys. <laughs> it's very cooling on the lips. It's a thin formulation, so let me swipe it on my hand to show you how thin it is. Okay, and that eyeliner look, it did set down rather matte, so it is the mascara that is transferring. Actually, guys, this is bright pink, but I really like it. I like the way it feels. It's not sticky. It's very light, lightweight. I'm going to try not to eat anything oily today, any kind of oil-based food, because that's what kind of tends to get the stain off of your lip. If you eat any kind of oil-based product, not product, any kind of oil-based food, like a salad dressing or something like that, may break down the lip stick, so the stain property. So, okay, it says Ultimate Brow. This ultra-fine brow pencil draws hair-like strokes for natural-looking to fine brows. Okay, I'm just hoping that it will hold my brows tame because they did not have... I didn't know. Let me know in the comment box if you know if Wet n Wild has a brow gel. I know they have... I know they have that little brow kit that has a wax in it and the powder. Okay, this is nice. Very similar to my CoverGirl crayon. It's not real creamy, which I like. It's a good thing. Because when it's too creamy, like I said, it brushes the product out of your brows. Okay, I do like this. And the color is not too red. It's perfect. It's not too dark either. Okay, this might be a cheaper alternative to my CoverGirl stick. You just want I just sprayed with the cucumber spray and for some reason my camera was not on. So, I will be back with the I'll check in. Let's see what time it is. My phone is full of makeup, guys. Okay. It is 12 o'clock. It's 12:03 in the afternoon, so my phone's dirty, it has makeup all over it. But this is the finished look and we're gonna I'm gonna check in. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey everybody, so it's been about eight hours since I put the foundation on. It is 8 13 at night. And let's see how whoops, sorry about that. Let's see how it's wearing. I did notice some transfer from either the eyeliner or the mascara 
I'm not sure which, but it, it was, I had to wipe it from, you know, the tops of my eyes, my eyelids. So I'm not sure if it is the eyeliner or mascara. I'm kind of leaning towards the eyeliner because it's a perfect line. So, but the mascara has held pretty well. The foundation is my top favorite. So it doesn't look like it's broken apart anywhere. Hmm. It's not settling into creases. It is a little bit broken up around my lip. But the lipstick, the, that lip stain is still on. In fact, it is staying better than, I think it's the Maybelline ink lipstick. And it's not as drying as that formula. So I think I've had a new lip stain. But maybe not this color. So concealer, hmm, it was okay. But um, it didn't settle into fine lines as much I did a little bit but not as much as the other concealers I've been trying out um, the blush is still there bronzer contour is still there so my two favorites everything was really good um, my two favorites were the blush no more than two the blush this is really good guys I think it might be a new daily um, foundation favorite the serum and the lip stain. Those are okay, so that's not two favorites, that's four favorites. So the foundation, the lip stain, the primer, it's very hydrating, and this beautiful blush. It, it does have a little bit of a shimmer in it, so I did notice that throughout the day. But this is eight hours of wear, and let me kind of zoom you in a little bit closer. Well, let me come closer. So it still looks luminous, it's still put together. You know, like I said, the eyeshadow is okay, but it's just I've been wiping the eyeliner off the top of my lid or the mascara, I don't know which one. I think it's the eyeliner, but everything else is still intact. So it doesn't look as good as it did when you first put it on, but so I hope you like this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and have a very blessed day day, night, whatever time it is by you. See you, see you soon. Bye.